Hello everybody and welcome to the unveiling of this particular exhibition which we are calling the 4J panel. This exhibition is dedicated to the memory and life and work of four brave women journalists who, well, paid ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. The, the journalists we are commemorating are in no particular order. Natalia Estemirova, Anna Politskaskaya, that's from Chechnya and Russia respectively, and behind me is Daphne Karwana Kalitsia from Malta, and out there is Veronica Guerin from Ireland. So this particular thing has been organized as part of Jaw Fest 2023, which is a festival of theater, literature, visual arts, and for some weird reason, journalism. And you could ask, why is a theater company actually worrying about journalism in the first place? Journalism used to be very simple. It used to be about bearing witness, reporting facts, and then letting people make up their own minds. And that was it. Now recently, because we live in some kind of fragmented reality, it turns out people can have opinions, and those opinions can be their own truths, and the truth is not monolithic anymore. Which means, as a journalist, you not only bear witness, you also begin to have the responsibility to interpret what you see and say, this is a possible interpretation. And now you can sit, sit down and choose this possible interpretation. In other words, it becomes performative literature. Journalism can now become essentially a manual which tells people, here is one possible way to think, just like acting manuals tell people, scripts tell people, actors how to move and feel. It is performative literature in lots of ways. And indeed, it's not surprising that a lot of journalists, like Anna Politskovskaya, for example, have actually written uh, plays or stories. They have written stories. Anna Politskovskaya has written stories. They have very rich inner lives, which were which consists of lots of ethical compromises that have to be made, especially if you're speaking truth to power, there is a fine line between figuring out how much truth you can speak and how bold you can be and what you need to make this process sustainable. It's a, it's a history of jagged compromises. So they have a very rich inner life which lies behind what might be a bland text or a commentary of the state of affairs. So we thought it was time, as a theater organization, which talks about stories and explores various ways of storytelling, that we talked about journalism, and we talked about journalism which values truth-telling. And that's why we're here. Of course, when we first started this talk, this whole conversation, or this whole exhibition, partly stemmed from the enthusiasm of uh, one of Jaws' co-founders, Dan Kotral, who was obsessed, who is who's actually a professor of journalism at a Chinese university and therefore is obsessed with journalism. And uh, he first made contact with uh, Lana Stimirova out there, as well as with um, the Daphne Foundation. And out of these conversations grew this idea.